1976, and the mother of all Big Brother stages Look is being built right Look there. Look at it, guys. It's uh, the mother of a stage, George. Tom tomorrow, the moly glory boy JJ to Geek Boy or that farmer girl will be crowned the winner of BB11, everybody! Yeah. Come on! On tonight's show, she's fresh out of the house and ready to air the finest dirty laundry. It's the queen of clean, Anthea Turner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we'll be grilling our four fabulous semi-finalists, of course, guys. Uh, plus, find out why all of the boys have been waxing their bodies. Mm. Ouch! Can you wax your body? Yeah, you could. C you can want. I? Yeah, yeah, Would yeah. you mind if I waxed your legs? Yeah, for sure, any time. Really? Yeah, yeah, anything you want to do. It's been so agreeable today. Yeah. How about you do my washing later? Anything you want, yep. Really? Yes. How about you do my washing wearing just your pants and your socks? Emma, for you, yes. Really? Yes. Anything for me? Yes. How about sniffing a pair of dirty John McCruick's underpants? Oh, I love that stuff. Yeah. Really? Oh. Look at huh? it, it's going Success. Ready. George, what, how no, about no. I sit on your lap wearing nothing other than a top hat and a pair of spectacles? That's going to get a little bit awkward. Yeah, but it's only awkward, George. If it's awkward... Oh, she's creeping me out a little bit now. Uh, here's last night's show in 60 seconds. I should warn you, uh, there's a lot of naked Mario in there. Right then, it's time to be nude. Hey, JJ, how's it going? <laughs> Because this isn't awkward. So, Mr. Muscle, until further notice, whatever anyone asks of you, your answer must always be yes. You needed the mangling in your boxes. Yeah. Don't listen to the mole, he's just trying to get you naked. You fancy Mario? Yeah, a little bit. You a bit Syria? Yeah. Can I watch one of your bits of your legs and? Yeah! What are you talking about? It's getting shut out. Shh. Watch. That was from James. <laughs> the all housemates make their way inside the house immediately. Sudden. I love you! You didn't even say I love you back. Now, Mario, for the record, the tree isn't the only one tired of seeing your meat and two veg, is he? Huh? Huh? We don't want to see that. It's disgusting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they joined us yesterday, but one ex-housemate fix simply wasn't enough, so we brought them back. It's Steve, John James, Corin and Sam. Yeah! How are you doing, A-Team? We all right? Yeah. yeah. yeah we're good. good. Yeah. And now, John James, on last night's main show, Josie said, and I quote, we really kissed. And John James is a really, 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 really good kisser, John James. <laughs> Now, John, you have to understand, you came on the show yesterday and talked to me and told me you didn't do any really, really, really good kissing. You told me you just did a bit of pecking. Yeah, maybe I lied, Georgie. John James is a liar, everybody. <laughs> He's a liar. Uh, now, as you know, last week, John, uh, Josie was given a very interesting uh, kind of uh, challenge, a, a proposition. Does she marry me or does she make you dress as crab eyes? Let's remind ourselves, guys. <laughs> Would you rather propose to George Lamb on BBLB or turn John James into a giant crab? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Obviously, uh, John James is the love of my life. But George Lamb's quite fit as well, isn't he? It's going to be this one. <laughs> it's going to be this one, isn't it? Oh. Tough decision. Tough yeah. decision. It's I got quite easy, actually. I think she made the wrong move there. You didn't seem very happy. <laughs> Hey? You didn't see happy with the, with the crab eyes thing. Would you prefer that she and I got married? Oh, well, you think you're God's gift to women, so you tell me. You, I'm sorry. Hey! Hey, John James! I'm sure you've had it plenty where, of times before. Where did you get that impression? <laughs> oh, you know, I see you walking around, you know, you get the vibe. Oh, <laughs> oh you know, you've got to call it how you see it. Uh, now, Corey, <laughs> uh, Mario's been up to his old tricks again, huh? Yeah. I walking can't... around, just chucking it about. Can't believe it. Like, yeah, I, it's I, good job I'm not there. I was going to say, you don't miss it no, at all, do you? I, I, I swear to God, like, 
You couldn't show me a clip whenever I've seen it because I've not looked. So what past Saint Mario? Don't it's like looking at my brother. Don't want to see it's it. It's too weird for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't want to see the planet. You know. Just keep it to yourself, yeah. Mario. Yeah. Now, he loves getting naked, the boy. Now yesterday the housemates said we were rewarded with their perfect day, guys. Uh, there was all sorts of great stuff. Look, we got some spray tans going Can't on. It. In fact, you guys. Oh my God. Uh, we had, uh, we had they, they got haircuts. <laughs> uh, there was makeup. I've actually got some befores and afters. Have a look at Corinne. She's gutted. She wasn't in the house for this. <laughs> I'm an eye. Uh, Look at Andrew, right? So this is Andrew before, and this is Andrew after his yeah. makeover. Oh what are we saying? Any improvement there? He's been corrined. Yeah, he looks well better. <laughs> He's been corrined, yeah, did you say? Yeah, so? he's a bit more orange, I like it. Yeah, no, he, he looks all right, yeah, doesn't he? Looks he looks good. Oh, yeah, he Would you have done cute. anything different? I would have spiked his hair up rather than on the would side. Would you like spiky hair, Corrin? Well, you know, it would have suited him up. All right, let's try this one then. What about JJ? Now, this is JJ when he went in. You didn't fancy JJ, right, Corin? Correct? I did say he was fair, didn't I? You okay, know. but you, did, you didn't fancy him. Yeah? I said he was fair. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, this is, this is JJ now. Let's have a look. Boom, spiky Whoa. hair. That's what I'm talking about. What are you saying about it that? It looks like my dad likes. That's, that's how my dad has his hair. He's just kind of moved <laughs> it from that don't. direction just upwards like that. He's not really done a great yeah. thing to it. No, it just suited him, Mike. Oh, it looks yeah, good, but it was better before. I that's sat a, the sailors on that one. That's all no, worked it out well for us then. Lee Stafford, are we, please? It, it, was, it was, yeah, a, bit, a little bad before. Does everyone disagree? They love, they love the new JJ. Uh, guys, you can see more about the housemates' transformations in the news. Steve, on last night's show, Josie nominated a, a custard cream biscuit. Just how hard was it here in Triton to tell you exactly who'd nominated you last week? I thought it was quite funny, actually, George. Yeah? Yeah, quite hilarious, mate. Um, it was nice to hear there wasn't many on there. Were you upset with Dave at all? No, not no? at all. He made that nomination way, way back, apparently, so... Right, OK. Yeah, didn't bother me. Uh, now, uh, tomorrow, you guys are going to be reunited with all the other housemates. Anybody in particular Whee! you're looking forward to seeing, Steve? Everyone, I think. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But, but the Baroness yeah, at all? Everyone, everyone. Just everyone, everybody? George. Everyone, mate, yeah. You're going to do any more of that bench-pressing stuff? I might do if you're available later. Right, OK. Hey! <laughs> huh? uh, now, John James, uh, you, said, uh, you said that nobody was going to leave a house of rock star, right? Remember that? Um, no, Remember I said no, no, I said they shouldn't go in there thinking that they're going to leave the house of rock star. Okay. They might, though. Sammy might. Well, it's funny you should say that, actually, James. <laughs> Have a little look at this. Sam. I well, gave out the hugs. He, did, he really gave out the hugs. Well, that was great. I love Sam was kind of stood there with all the girls, and then at one point he just went, come on, let's do it. You know what yeah. <laughs> they, they, you know, they were, I thought, they come all the way here. They sat outside for hours. They, they deserved thought. it. They deserved it. Mm. <clears throat> now, so, uh, something in your pocket going off there, so I don't know what that is. Uh, now, uh, Lisa's, Lisa's emailed in to ask, Sam, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, no, not currently. So you're, you're looking, you're looking to, to meet young ladies? Mm, young ladies, that makes it sound a little bit below the board, but uh, <laughs> yeah, la ladies of equal uh, age level equal to me. Level. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Just from a couple. You're quite young though. 21. That's, unfortunately for me, that is quite young, yes. Uh, now, you've, uh, you've got over 35,000 followers, Sam, on Twitter. Including Rio Ferdinand. You're kidding me. <laughs> that is breaking news. That, that is breaking news. That's pretty amazing. I now, don't know. Is he good? <coughs> Is he good I, had to, I had to ask my brother who he was. He's amazing. Don't worry about that. Uh, lastly, who do you guys want to win? Sam Pepper. Uh, I'm going with Mario. You going with Mario? I've got to go with a Glory Dave. Glory Dave. I stick with Josie. Yeah. Yay! Needn't ask, but go on. <laughs> Josie. Josie, everybody. Yay! It's going to be a tough one. Let's hear it for our four finalists, everybody. <laughs> Semi finalists, sorry. Are you all ready for a little bit of exciting news? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Josie has dyed her brown roots. No way. Blonde. No way. Yeah. What are you saying about like that? Come on, what are you saying? Yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh. oh, I love the love that they have between them. Uh, after the break, we've got even more news on the confirmations. Yeah, and uh, Anthony Turner will be revealing what happened when she treated the house to a little something she made earlier. But first, the oh. final is one day away, and you are voting for your winner of Big Brother 11. Who wins? You decide. We'll see you after the break. For Andrew to win, call 09011 323 015. 
Dave to win. Call 09011 323 004. For JJ to win, call 09011 323 018. For Josie to win, call 09011 323 008. For Mario to win, call 09011 323 009. Calls cost 50 people from a BT landline, other networks may be higher, and mobiles will cost considerably more. 15p from each call will be donated to charity. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Tuesday's final. Welcome back to BBLB. It's day 76 and the time is 6.15. Coming up, I'll be talking to original celebrity Big Brother housemate, Miss Anthea Turner. Custard cream or rich tea biscuit, Emma? Now, see, this is a decision I didn't want to make. One so full of flavour, the other so deliciously simple. They're only biscuits. I know, but neither of them deserve to be nominated, do they? Do they? No. Here's George with BBLB News. Oh, this is ranking here, everybody. Uh, now, the housemates began their perfect day at 9.45 in the morning with a breakfast in bed from Anthea Turner. It was followed by loads of beauty treatments, and as any woman will tell you, that beauty takes quite a lot of pain. Isn't that right, JJ? Is this going to really hurt? Um, well, a little bit, yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got one last strip to get off. Oh, Would you like to carry on? <laughs> That's not nice, is it? Uh, so early in the show, we saw Andrew and JJ's makeover, but the day continued, and at 2.46, it was time for Josie to meet Mr Lee Stafford. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lee. Hello. 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 Yeah, what about that kind of thing, right in the front? Oh, beautiful, Lee. Yeah? You yeah. like that? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm your address>. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, wasn't having a fit. Of and how has your perfect day been? Uh, beyond perfect, best day of my life. And what do you think John James will think of your new look? Well, I hope he's still interested. Don't worry, Josie. John James has told us he's a big fan of your new look. And so the perfect day continued with dinner from Nancy Lamb, no relation, and Simon Webb serenaded the housemates. Sounds perfect. So much so, even the biggest Big Brother conspiracist enjoyed himself. How are you this evening? Oh, man, you smoothed me right over. You're not that bad after all. Here's me coming up with my own little conspiracy theories, how you're out to get me. And then he just smoothed me over with perfect day. Oh, so Dave's well known for his Big Brother conspiracies, but the housemates' brains went into lather when they witnessed this from Mario and Andrew. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. That's not playing, that's, that's flirting. Yeah. I think Andrew would go for Mario, you know, all the time. You're right, Josie, that is straight up flirting. Now, this morning at 11.50 during a game of throw the ball, Dave shows the worst time to miss a catch. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that was an easy catch oh. as well. Uh. <laughs> that was an easy catch. Uh. Are you OK, Dave? Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh, right in the glory there. Brings tears to your eyes. Uh, keep up to date with all the days going on by heading to our website, channel4.com forward slash big brother. Our finalists have certainly had a busy few days, but Lee Stafford and Simon Webb were the only ones to pay them a visit. Our next guest gave them a delicious wake-up call. Zanthia Turner! <laughs> I loved waking them up. 
Tell, tell me all about it. What happened? You went in well, yesterday. I just went in. We I was eating haven't seen breakfast. It yet. Yeah, it was like a continental breakfast, and I served it. I've never served breakfast to anybody like that. So it was properly. a first for you. It was a, it was a first okay. for me. But to see them all in bed, and they were all just so nice, and I had such a good time. And was it weird really. going back into the house? It's just so totally, totally different to the house that I went into, right, okay. which was all for comic relief, and it was just. So different. You okay. can't even compare we'll the two. We'll talk about when yeah. you went back in the house okay. in a little while. Let's take a look at you in action Thank yesterday. You. Oh, wow. Hello, good morning. Hello. My name's Anthea. <laughs> and this is the beginning of your... <laughs> imagine there would be was anybody different you know it's so funny thought? because I have been watching this entire series so I feel like I know everybody yeah. and that they are my friends yeah we and all feel like that yeah. Don't we? yeah and I can honestly say guys they are exactly the same yeah really nice people when you say nice you think boring but it's not boring they're really great people yeah you really made nice such a lasting impression on them as well um, Mario didn't want you to leave. Oh, Josie is feeling so bad because she called you Andrea. Oh, it's and just a few, it's a few letters. It doesn't matter. Um, and Dave admitted that he had one whopping crush on you <laughs> way back in the day. So do you think that your life might, you know, it might have been different if you'd have met Dave 20 years ago? Dave and I got together. I could, I could have seen him through life. Yeah. <laughs> he might not have got into the trouble that he got into. He might not have gone monking. <laughs> <laughs> he might not have, or you might have yeah. gone with him. I Who might knows? have done, I might, I might have been Sister love. Mary Anthea. <laughs> Sister Mary Anthea. <laughs> uh, now, you were in the very first Celebrity yes. Big Brother house, yeah. way back in uh, 2001. Mm -hmm. So, how is this house different to the house that you were in? Well, as I said before, it is just so totally different. You can't compare the two because we were only in for a week. It was yeah. all a bit of a laugh for comic relief. And you have to remember, then, we hadn't had celebrity anything. No, it no, was the uh, first. The absolute first. And, uh, you know, I, I don't really think that we all knew what we were letting ourselves in for, but I can honestly yeah. say it's an experience that has stayed with me and it will stay with me for the rest of my life. Really? And I loved it. And when I look back now, it was a really special, frightening, but very special week. So do you think you could have done 76 days? No way, no way. It's such a long no slot, way. isn't we, it? I say it was only a week for us. Yeah. That was it. Um, no, it's well known. Uh, you are well known for being oh, yes. the perfect housemate. Uh, uh, housewife, sorry. Even when you were in the, the Big mm -hmm. Brother house. Yes. Uh, you were always <laughs> That's really tragic. That was so tragic. Have we got you? Somewhere oh your, my goodness you me! In your I look world. like Ian Sharples. What do I look like? The joke is that when our team left Big Brother House, it was actually cleaner than we went in. Because of you, of course. Who was the dirtiest celebrity Big Brother house in 2001? I'm just trying to think about that one. I'm going to blame it on Keith Duffy. Really? Must have been it. it must have been Keith. Filthy Keith yes. Duffy. <laughs> and was this year's house up to your hygiene standards? It was awful. I cannot tell you, as far as I'm concerned, how dirty that house was. And of course, you don't see dirt on television in the same way that it is in real life. I went in there earlier as well, and, and there was a short and curly a... on the toilet seat. Oh, there was. Uh, Corin, <laughs> who was the dirtiest housemate? Um, I have to say it would be Ben. Like, um, like I love Ben to bits, but it, it were him, and he weren't only dirty, it'd be like sneaky, like, so he'd use your flannel. And like leave it on the side, right. and he'd like if you Ben, can you make me a cup of tea? He'd like take the tea bag out with his fingers and not a spoon, you know. He was like that. Oh, Sam, was... who who had the main cleaning duties? It's got to be Steve, I think. Good old Steve. On, a... <laughs> <laughs> on the day when we had to do, you know, everything unpredictable, he was sitting in the garden going. I want to clean, I want to clean, but I can't. We've got to be unpredictable. We've got to be unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so filthy now, Steve, because you're See, not there. Steve and I would have been fine together in the Big Brother. We would have been like mum and dad. We'd have I'd probably agree we'd with her. We'd have stalked <laughs> it, wouldn't we? Uh, right now, on last night's show, we finally saw Mario and Andrew clean up the house. We reckon it's probably the first time in about 12 weeks, other than Steve. Yeah. Uh, so we sent uh, Andrea, sorry, Anthea. <laughs> you did it on purpose. <laughs> in inspect their handiwork whilst they were sleeping. I really wouldn't know where to start. Well, actually, I would. It would be to take everything out and bleach the whole thing. I know this thing won't feel safe. I know it. I just know it. Dirt. Once you've gone, you put 
put it in the bin. You see all this, this is all lime scale on the shower. Best thing to do is just squirt some white vinegar, one part vinegar, four parts water, all over and it would be fine. Oh my goodness me. Definition of a shower, a shower is somewhere that you go to clean yourself. What happens when the shower is dirtier than you are? Oh no. This smells, this really smells, this is horrible. It smells mildewy, mouldy. Look at this, look at that on the floor here. Look at all that. This is horrid. <laughs> it's worse, worse, so much worse than I ever thought. Isn't it? I hope someone goes in there and gives it a good clean before the other housemates go in. But what did it smell of? I know the sick smell of milk. Oh, it, there's an aroma that hits you. You know, when it's a new nose going in, like mine was, and it's a sort of, it's like sweaty pumps, food, bomb. Oh! Bomb. Bomb. What's the, what was the smelliest <laughs> sort of, room and dirtiest room? I think it was, at, it, it was the, the cupboards under the sink. Really? Yeah, the kitchen it's sink. Nice, then uh, I don't think anybody would touch those. They'd uh, be really horrid. Now listen, we've only got one day left and we're running out of time. So mm -hmm. very quickly, who do you want to see walk around with the Big Brother crown? Oh no, 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 no don't put me on the spot. I can't. I, Come on. I know, I really, I like you them all. I love them all. I love Mario, I love Josie, I love Dave. I, I love them all. I just, no, don't. Anthea Turner, everybody. Oh. Anthea <laughs> Turner. Yeah. The finale and the launch of Ultimate's Big Brother. Yeah, join us at 6 pm when we will be reuniting all 16 of BB11's gang. They'll be here in the studio. Plus, Davina will also be here giving us the lowdown on the biggest ever Tuesday night in Big Brother history. Don't forget to watch the main show tonight at 10 o'clock. For all the latest news, head to the website. Bye! Yeah.